Hey everyone, Tech Commentary here with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to restart your iPad Air in two different ways. Now, this is on the latest version and this is on the newer iPad. It's all screen, so you want to update your iPad if you haven't in order to use these methods. So, let's get started. The first and the simplest way to restart your iPad is by using the volume up and volume down button on your iPad Air. So, you're going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down, and then hold on to that touch ID or that lock button. As you can see here, it's going to say slide to power off, but you do not need to touch that. Just keep on holding this power button until the screen goes completely black and wait for the Apple logo to appear before we let go of that top button and that's going to restart your iPad. This is known as a force restart. Basically, it shuts down the software and reloads the code. And after doing this, it will pretty much get you back to the main screen now you will not lose any of your personal data now another simple even easier way to restart your ipad is using siri so if you want go ahead into your setting ensure that siri is enabled by going into settings siri and then you want to ensure that either top button or how, listen for hey siri is turned on so in my case i have siri turned on so i'm going to just activate siri and tell siri to restart my ipad so we're going to activate siri by pressing the top button hey siri Restart iPad. Just to confirm. Yes. And as you can see here, Siri can also restart. So if you have Hey Siri or Siri using the top button, it's activated and let it restart your iPad. As you can see here, the Apple logo appearing, which again is really simple and easy to do again because most of the time Siri is enabled on your iPad anyways. But for Siri to do this command, make sure it's on the latest iOS version. We're on iOS 17, some of the older iOS. I uh, did not allow Siri to do that. So that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPad, iPad, and other iOS devices. See you guys next time.